Okay. <laughs> Had a wee bit of a struggle stream there <laughs> at the beginning because uh, my capture card was not registering for a little while and didn't know what that was about, but ended up just having to unplug it and then plug it back in, and then it was all good, thankfully. And uh, yeah, God forbid I try to get the clips player to work <laughs> during the stream countdown. Apparently, we just uh, we just can't handle that. Apparently, but here we are. Um, yeah, feeling pretty good. <laughs> At least I was before I tried starting to stream. Uh, but anyway, um, been feeling really good today. And because we know that we have to be in a really good headspace in order to play this game, I was like, let me hop on stream and see if we can make a little bit more progress Resident in the zero. unending torture <laughs> that is Resident Evil Zero. So let's just, let's see what we can do, yeah? Now that my tea is no longer warm. But anyway. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> last time um, we went into a room that we now have the key for. And I found out from following the walkthrough that apparently uh, the ones that I've been calling the slimy guys this whole time, or like the human human devil snare. Apparently they're called humanoid leeches. But personally I think that both either one of my names is a better name for them. <laughs> human devil snare or slimy guy. <laughs> okay, right. He's got the key, so let's switch those around. I think I wonder what I wonder like what kind of accomplishment it is for me to have um, made it like because I can't remember when it was that both of their health got this low initially and then since that point like they've both except for with the exception of Billy getting a couple herbs right before we saved Becky from falling down the hole. Um, but then the apes, you know, on the way to save I'll Becky, took his health yeah. back down. But, you know, with the exception of that, this whole time, like, neither of them has gotten a, uh, a health item. Neither of them has been back to full health, and I don't remember when. Oh, Croft, thank you for following. How you doing? Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good night. Or a day. I think it's probably still daytime where you are. But thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh god, I just remembered where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Do not perceive me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to grab this thingy really quick and then I will be out of the way. Hi, Crofty. How are you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No. And that's, and that's all it takes. Still working from home. Glad you get to work from home. That's great. It's 2.48 p.m. So you must be like on the west coast or like mountain time back in the U.S. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I've been streaming only for a few months now, but I managed to figure out a, a little um, nomadic streaming setup where I can stream 
using my um, my MacBook Pro <laughs> and my Nintendo Switch and a capture card. And then thankfully, the room I'm staying in right now has a, a TV, so I'm using that as an extra monitor. And I see that there's an ad coming, so I'll see y'all in a second. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. How are you, hon? Good to see you. How's your week going? How was your weekend? <clears throat> Are you all recovered now from your surgery? I was sick um, pretty much all of last week and was like stuck in bed pretty much from like Wednesday to Saturday. So I'm happy to finally be almost fully recovered from that. Just got a little congestion left over. I started streaming on my old laptop and capture card too. Oh, that's really inspiring. Oh, no worries. It was just more of this kind. It was just more Resident Evil suffering, but I did make a little bit of progress. And the VOD is still up too, if you want to catch it. Um, and towards the end, I started playing a new uh, game, a cute, cozy little cat simulator, like role playing game called Cattails. It's very cute. Um, and that's like the last mm, 45 minutes-ish of my last stream, if you feel like checking that out. Yeah, it did suck. Um, like, I lost my voice first and everything. Um, gotta get back to work. Oh, thank you so much, Crofty, for keeping the stream up while you work and lurk. I appreciate you. I'll see you later. Um, yeah, and it was either, I'm pretty sure it was either like the flu or it was COVID again, which would really suck. Um, but um, thankfully, like the worst of it was only like two or three days, really. Um, and then after like Saturday, I've just been feeling better and better and better. And like I said, today I've only got some congestion left over. But I'm hoping that, like, I did some practicing of some songs today. Um, some new songs I want to play for, like, going out and busking. And, like, I, my, my voice, I was like, eh, it's not good enough for me to, like, go perform for people. But I did sing to some cows. Because <laughs> that's something that I like to do. I like to sing to the cows. Um, so it was good enough to sing to the cows. And I also used that as, like, a warm-up. Thank you, Croft. I'll see you. Um, and yeah, the cat simulator game is really, really cute so far. I'm, it's, it's really fun. I was just like super tired, so I didn't uh, play too much of it. But it's going to make for a really nice palate cleanser and like dopamine booster for when the, the futility and the misery of <laughs> Resident Evil Zero just becomes too much for when I need a break from that. Um, the cat simulator, cattails, is perfect for that. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that tomorrow my voice will be in good enough shape to go and do some busking. Um, and I'm also hoping the weather will cooperate, because actually that might be the contingent factor for whether or not I can busk tomorrow. It might really just depend on the weather. Yeah, I really love cows, and, um... I'm actually staying on a farm. I'm staying in a farmhouse. And uh, there's like fun fields all around the area and um, lots of different uh, cows. Well, not as many, there's not as many cows as I would like, but I don't have to walk too far to see some cows. And there's a particular herd of them that um, I've visited like a few times now to the point where <laughs> the cows recognize me. And when they see me, they'll like come over to me. It's so cute. It's so adorable. And like the second time that I went and visited them and sang to them. Hold on. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if I'm pretty sure cows would run away from me if I sang to them. I doubt it. Um, but like, you know, all animals love music, and, um, and uh, here in this part of Ireland is where there's a lot of dairy farming, 
In fact, you know Carrie Gold Butter. Um, like I'm staying in the county Cary right now. Um, so there's a lot of dairy farming, a lot of cattle farming here. And somebody told me that um, dairy farmers will actually like play music for the cows when they're doing the milking to help just like relax them and keep them happy and stuff. I know, it's so cute. So I love, uh, I like the idea of just like entertaining the cows and that, you know, they're enjoying my singing. And I'm pretty sure they do because the this particular herd, like the second time that I visited them and like sang to them, I was just like sitting on the, the wall on the other side of their little uh, fence or whatever. And then when I got up to leave and I started walking away, <laughs> Some, like one or two of the cows started mooing after me and they and it felt like they were saying like bitch where are you going <laughs> we didn't say you could leave we want more music anyway that's what i think that they were saying to me um that's what i like to think um because when they were like mooing at me I, as i was walking away i would i turned around i was like i'll be back okay like i'll come back and visit you another day so um, it's really cute. I love that when I walk up and I like wave to them, they, they recognize me and they start trying to come closer. So anyway, it makes me very happy. But yeah, and then I also got some good news. I got an email um, about, it's, it's a the person who was emailing me, I've been emailing them back and forth, or they've been emailing me back and forth since last June about a potential like language data analyst job here in Ireland and I just got an email today yeah the cows the cows haven't dismissed me yet they seem they seem to like my visits so um, yeah <clears throat> I'm just taking that as a good sign but yeah I just when I was checking my email while I was eating dinner I noticed that I got an email earlier today um, about a data language data analyst job in Cork, which is not very far. It's like an hour away or so from where I am. And uh, they want to follow up with me regarding next steps of the hiring process. So I'm really, really excited. It would only be a temporary contract job. And I don't know if it would include sponsorship for a work visa, but I'm really hoping that it can work out because um, it just could be a really great opportunity, a way for me to like get my foot in the door here and potentially find a way to stay here for longer. So, you know, keep your fingers pro crossed, um, send good vibes. If you're a praying kind of person, then I'd appreciate your prayers um, because like you know, any anything that would allow me to stay here, to be able to eventually live here, is that would be like a dream come true. So yes, that's why I'm feeling very good. And I was like, let me let's take this, <laughs> let's take wait no that not that way. I was like, let's take this good energy um, and channel it into <laughs> Resident Evil. And yes, it would be a huge opportunity. Um, and yeah, it would just be really, really great. So yeah, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much. Um, cause there's still a lot of things that remain to be seen, but it would be, it would be huge. I just need to adjust my camera really quick. Okay. You're going to do that thing again. Okay. Because, um, I feel like. It's taking up a little bit more of the screen than I want it to. I'm gonna put me over here, actually. No. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's do this again and try not to die. Yes, thank you, Mimi. Thank you for the good vibes. I very much appreciate it. Um, anyway, how are you doing? Bit 
framey or a bit framey. Um, <laughs> five frames per second. <laughs> well, you know, Kenzie's just chugging along. She's doing her best, so we'll take it. I'll take it, babes. I'll take it. Um, I haven't even checked how the audio video lag is today. Anxiety. I know what you mean. It's so working and spending time with family. Anxiety has been rough the past few days. Managing it with lots of rest and relaxation. That's good. I'm glad you're spending time with family. Getting your rest and relaxation. Excuse you. Um, and I definitely know what you mean. Anxiety sucks. And, like, um, there's still, like, five planets in retrograde right now, so, you know, stuff's all still kind of effed up. Like, Mercury just came out of retrograde a couple days ago, and... Mm, I forget the other one, but Uranus... Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Am I missing another one? I don't know. Well, at least those four I know are still in retrograde right now. So, you know, you can always just chalk it up to that when, when shit's feeling weird. Well, you can't, you can't always chalk it up to that, I should say. <laughs> um, because it's like, until December, no, until January 20-somethingth? Um, I forget which one of them, but, but, there's still gonna be one planet in retrograde all the way from now until January, like, end of January, basically. And then there's two of them that are, one's gonna, one's gonna go out of retrograde at the beginning of December, Another one's going out of retrograde on December. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just, instead of, instead of giving you guesstimations, let me just. I thought I saved it. Is this the one? Oh my god, go away. I already I already had a web page up that I was looking at and now I can't find that one. Okay. Um, oh, Pluto too. And it, Pluto is a planet again. I know they downgraded it. Um, but I guess it's been reinstated as a planet. Okay. So Venus and Mercury were in retrograde, and now they're not, right? Um, Mercury just went back direct on the 16th. But there's also what's called a shadow period. So it's like a week or so after it goes back direct that stuff might still be, apparently, I don't know. Okay, but Pluto is still in retrograde until October 22nd. Saturn is still in retrograde until November 4th. Neptune until December 6th. Jupiter until December 31st. And then Uranus until... January, whatever, whatever. Mm 
Yeah, Uranus until January 27th. Okay, so hold on a second. <laughs> I hope nobody's watching actually wanted to watch Resident Evil gameplay. You're gonna have to take a, an astrology break with me for just a second. Um, okay, so as you may know, Mercury retrograde tends to affect like travel, communication, transportation, uh, technology kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, I missed one of my buses when I was uh, moving counties <laughs> during Mercury retrograde and I managed to fall and scrape my knee and my elbow up really bad. So um, that tracks. Okay, so Pluto... Okay, according to this, um, Pluto in retrograde is your celestial invitation to reclaim your personal power and prioritize purpose-driven actions. Taking, excuse me, taking time each day to slow down and work out what you want to be saying yes and no to, um, to live your life for you. So it's it's good that you're taking your time to rest and relax. It sounds like you're doing the right thing as far as the Pluto retrograde is concerned. Um, Saturn retrograde is in Pisces, and this calls for a spiritual review, inner healing, letting go of limiting beliefs, and empowering you to commit to your rituals and self-care practices. Good stuff. It says Capricorn and Pisces are the signs most affected during this time by this retrograde, Saturn particularly. And my moon is in Capricorn, so yeah, shit's, shit's gonna be, it's gonna be intense and it's gonna be weird, basically for the rest of the year. Um, but especially right now, while there's so many of them, while there's so many of these retrogrades overlapping, but as you can see, like, once they go back direct, it's like, I think as, as the year goes on, it's going to be resolving itself slowly but surely, you know what I mean? Once, you know, once each of them goes back into their direct, um, whatever it's called. <clears throat> okay, Jupiter, it will have its retrograde in the sign of Taurus, and this one encourages people to look at your self-worth. People are urged to reflect on values important to them and align them with their goals. Set some goals and get to work by doing just one small thing at a time to make this retrograde work for them. This one affects Taurus and Sagittarius the most. So that's the Jupiter retrograde until New Year's Eve. <clears throat> um, and then the Uranus retrograde until January 27th. This one lasts until the new year, and the retrograde is also in Taurus. This represents a transformative period with people urged to break free from stagnant routines, embrace change, and revolt against what isn't working for them in their everyday lives. And this one affects all of the star signs. Yeah, so good to know, right? And there's that. And some people will say that it doesn't affect anything, and it has nothing to do with anything, and that the planets are just gaseous bodies up in the cosmos that have absolutely no effect on uh, human events or anything like that. Um, but meanwhile, they will also acknowledge that the moon affects the tides. And they'll acknowledge that humans, that as we as humans and carbon-based beings, that we are made up of the exact same materials that the planets are made up of: nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, all of that good stuff. But they'll still deny that there could be any possibility that any of those um, celestial bodies could have any effect on us. Anyway. That's all I'll say about that for now. Back to the suffering. I'll go alone. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, Becky will go alone. Oh, 
Oh, I just saw him go Pluto. He <laughs> just saw that one. Okay. Run, 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 Well, zero. Oh, no problem. Thank you for enjoying uh, and attending the astrology break. And, you know, to say just a little bit more about it um, is a lot of horoscope stuff bullshit? Yeah, sure. Does that mean that none, nothing of it could have any truth or any credibility and that none of the celestial bodies could possibly have any effect on human events? I don't believe so. Um, but yeah. Oh, well, now if my camera's here, then I can't quite see. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Awkward camera placement okay better yeah no we don't we don't want to load that one okay and um yeah I've been sitting on the floor since uh to stream since i've been staying in this in this place where i'm staying this month because there's uh there's not like a proper <laughs> desk for me to sit at so i'm just using some like small little end tables to put my stuff on and then i'm sitting on the floor on the on a bunch of pillows leaning up against one of the beds that's in here um And I just, it means that I have to kind of like adjust my position a lot. Because sitting cross legged will be comfortable, but only for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so if you notice me changing my position and fidgeting and stretching, and twisting around a lot, that's why. We hit 130 followers, yay! Thank you, Croft, for that. Okay, that's a nice round number. Okay, here yeah, we've got that. Check over there. Yeah. By the way, how is the audio? Is the game audio um, loud enough? Too loud? Decent? One of them. 
Yes, thank you. Okay, um, fuck going... Fuck going down that hallway towards that other slimy guy. I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go back downstairs and save. Well... I could save downstairs in the hall again, or I could save in the conference room. Wait. Hold on. Well, Becky can't save, because I gave... I gave the ink ribbon to Billy, didn't I? Billy? Come here, Billy. I think it's good. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna turn the game audio up just a bit from me. Because I would like to be able to hear it a little better. Yeah, Becky. Give me one frame frame per second. I'm a <laughs> I'm a wish I was dead. Give me two frames per second. <laughs> I'ma keep trying instead. Give me three frames per second. <laughs> I'ma wish that was enough. Give me four frames per second. I'ma I don't know. I, I couldn't think of anything else clever to say. Give me saves frame for a second. Wouldn't that be nice? Give me 10 frames per second. Mm. I'll have to work on that. So we have one thing, and at least I know that when we go back into the hallway with the slimy guys, that uh, if the slimy guy gets us, then um, at least I won't have to do the vice grip grabbing part again. One less thing, right? And that's what I'm about. Minimizing the suffering, right? That's that's what we're trying to do here. Minimal suffering. Let me get my walkthrough up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. For the for this next part, they're gonna go together. Oh my god! Can we go through a door? Can we? Thank you. We were done for. Did we both make it in here? 
Okay, thank fuck. Okay. Um, also, the thing with my follower goal and my sub goal is, is doing the thing again. Because it does this really annoying thing where, um, sometimes it'll... Like, one of them is supposed to be for follower goal, the other one is supposed to be for my sub goal. But it'll do this thing where it'll show both of them as the sub goal instead of them being separate. And I don't know what that's about, but it's quite annoying. Okay, Billy, time to tickle the ivories. Because Billy has this hidden talent. <laughs> turn it up on my... There we go. Okay, now let me know if the game audio is too loud, because I was able to just turn it up on the TV for myself, so if it's too loud for y'all, then I can turn it turn it back down in the settings. I'll go alone. Roger. Okay. Um... I'll go alone. Roger. Actually, we're gonna stay here while Becky goes along. And we are going to grab... Uh, we need to make room. We need more gasoline anyway to make Molotovs, so... Those can't really do us any good oh my God. right now anyway. Okay, this is what we need because we can put this in the thing outside to get that lift going to get the other tablet thingy, if I remember correctly. Now can you imagine if I hadn't read the walkthrough and I had them both go in there <laughs> instead of uh, leaving leaving Billy outside to be able to release Rebecca, can you imagine how stupid I would feel? <laughs> Does Billy have room for Magnum Rats? No. Oh well. Okay. Um, okay, now... Give the mice handle to Billy. Okay. Um. Right. Come on. Roger. Come on. Roger. Mm. 
can switch. Okay. I'll go alone. Now Billy's Roger. gonna go on his own. Roger. Okay. Okay. Hey Bert! Oh my god! Oh my god! Midi! Thank you for the raid. How did it go, Midi? How was the rest of Signalis? Hi Bert! I'm doing good. How are you? Scary game. Yeah, it can be scary, that's for sure. The the enemies are not fun. <laughs> and um yeah, the camera angles make it so that you can't see what's coming at you and you can't see what you're shooting at a lot of the time and that makes it very very scary. Um, mostly just frustrating, but it sure can be scary sometimes. Thanks so much for the raid, Mitty. Welcome in, raiders. Um, let me grab some lip balm. <clears throat> and dry. Oh, I remember I bought postcards. <laughs> I'll have to do that later. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, um, your brain is sleepy, just want to snuggle up in bed. I'm glad that you're having fun though, I'm glad you're enjoying the new spooky game you've been playing, Signalis. Um, I do not understand what that game is about, I have not been <laughs> paying enough attention to, to you while you've been playing it to really go um, get what's going on, but I'm glad you're having fun, and I hope you get lots of good rest, Mitty, thank you again. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Go ahead and raid and run and get lots of rest, okay? Have a good sleep. Have sweet dreams. And thank you everybody for coming in. If you need to raid and run as well, that's totally fine. Oof. Um, but if you want to stick around, my name is Lydia, or you can call me Liddy. I'm a variety streamer. Um, I play guitar and I do music streams as well as streaming a bunch of different games. I'm cu currently uh, suffering through Resident Evil for my first time. I only played my first Resident Evil game, uh, the RE1 remaster. I only played that for the first time back in May. So very new to the franchise, um, really hating this <laughs> but making it through. I also love to play Tomb Raider games. I'm super, super excited uh, for the remasters coming to the Switch uh, next year. So I will be streaming that once once that comes out. And I also stream uh, Skyrim, Lego Harry Potter. Um, I've got a bunch of new games lined up on my Switch here to stream sometime soon. And uh, yeah, sometimes I might even do like an art stream here and there. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all, whoever wants to stick around and watch me suffer through some Resident Evil Zero. Um, and then when I inevitably get tired of this, I'll probably take a little dopamine break and play some cute cozy game like I just started playing Cattails, which is a very cute little cat simulator role-playing game. So we might have some of that towards the end of stream, but yeah, um, I'm also neurodivergent, so um, like I don't always pick up on humor right away or sarcasm, especially over text that can be tricky for me to pick up on, so um, I've got a little like chat command timer thing going in the chat that you'll see that just, you know, asks people to like make it really obvious if they're joking or if they're being sarcastic so that we can all laugh along together. Um, and also when I'm focusing really hard, um, I get really, really strong RBF. So I might look like I'm mad, um, but I'm probably not. Or if I'm mad at anything, it's probably just the game. I'm probably not mad at anyone in particular, probably just <laughs> mad at the game. But yeah, um, I think those are all the little things that I like to say about myself uh, when raiders come in. So yeah, um, 
with that being said, let's get on with the suffering, shall we? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you see? You see? It does, it takes so little. It's instant, insta-death. Oh, this game is just... Wait, hold on, I missed... It's gay. <laughs> okay, the game that Mitty was playing is gay and scary. That's all you need to know. That's hilarious. Thank you so much, Bert. I so appreciate it, Bert. Thank you for mentioning my guitar. Um, yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, what is happening? I'm just trying to get my windows to cooperate, and they keep moving around on me. Okay. Stay. You stay there now. Okay, let's try that again. The good thing is I just went and... I went and saved, um... It might even... Some people might call it an excessive save, because I had literally just saved before, but I don't know if y'all noticed that both of the characters are at dangerously low health. So... Given how easily it is for either of them to die, as you just saw, and, and there's no health items to be found. We haven't found an herb in a really long time. Um, so this is how I just, this is just how I have to play in order to try to um, save myself as much backtracking as I can and to, you know, to try to keep them both alive, basically. Can we go? Can we go through a door? But yeah, I'm constantly, with this game, I'm constantly just struggling. Struggling to get the characters to move the way I'm needing them to move. Struggling to aim. Struggling to shoot at what I'm trying to shoot at. Um, it's just, it's just a struggle. Um, another thing I should mention. So, I'm sort of a nomad, you might say and um, staying in like one place for about like a month or so at a time and then moving to other places because I travel a lot. So my current setup is <laughs> streaming off of my um, 2012 MacBook Pro um, and my Nintendo Switch with a capture card. Um, and just having to go off of the Wi-Fi wherever I'm staying. So if my stream is struggly, that's why. So appreciate appreciate whoever is sticking around and bearing with me despite the uh, low frame rate and all. But that's what's happening there. <clears throat> Let's split up. Okay. Okay. Let's split up. Okay. Actually, Billy's not even safe in this hallway. I mean, I think he's safe for now until we go around that corner. But, oh wait, we don't need to go back in here. Because she already got the thing. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was lucky. Way. Yeah. <laughs> I hate those things. I hate those slimy guys. The human devil snare. Okay, Billy.
I'll go. Okay. I'll go. Okay. I wonder what that says. Something out. Something? Oh well. This one. Roger. Okay. This one. Roger. I'll check it out. Actually. Okay. I'll check it out. Okay. Well, okay. Um. Okay, he's already got that. Okay. Okay, just, just go. Just go. Just move. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh god. So, okay. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do this if if there's no way that we can like not get grabbed by him Resident as soon as we walk out this door <sighs> then I don't know how we're gonna get past him and this is why having any kind of health above dangerous would be really great. This is why it would be really great if this game provided health items more than, you know, twice, <laughs> it seems like. Oh gosh. <laughs> Fucking slimy guys. I can't get a break. Again. Just sucks that slimy guy's waiting right on the other side of the door for us as soon as we come out of there, so I don't know. No, don't waste it, don't waste it, don't, 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 don't. Did I mention I hate this game? Zero.
well. Um, I guess I'll just hope that I'll somehow get like decent enough RNG or something. Because I don't know. I don't know what's what's gonna change, you know what I mean? Like the slimy guy is just gonna be there. He's just gonna be there on the other side of the door. You know, we, we gotta get fat past him the first time. And then even if we do that, he's all he's still gonna be there on the other side of the door when we try to come back out, so <sighs> Okay, herbs, health items. If I were an herb, where would I be? Are there any herbs out here? Or is there just stuff that's gonna kill us? Any herbs? Any tips? I do not believe there are any herbs out here. Cause I think it, I think there were, and I think we already got them, and as you can see, body. Well, this is where we're going to put the battery um, once we manage to stay alive getting it over here. We got to do that first. First we got to stay alive and get it over here. Is there, are there any herbs anywhere? It's nice at least that you can see which items have been left where. Like I left the hook shot there. There's no herbs. my camera always in an inconvenient spot no matter where I put it. <laughs> there we go. Well, fuck. Well, I guess there's nothing for it but to try to do the thing that I keep doing and keep dying. Okay, get, 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 just go through the door. Fuck's sake. It's just a door. Oh my god, can I go through a door?
So far, so good. Now we just have to hope we can somehow get Billy past him on the way back out. But let's do this whole song and dance. I mean, not the song part anyway. <coughs> so talented. I'll go check over there. Okay. I'll go check over there. Okay. Billy? We cannot come out. We cannot escape. We can't come out. Maybe it's worth giving Billy the shotgun because if we can get a shot off on, on the slimy guy, maybe that'll be enough to stagger him just so we can get past him, you know? Um, could be worth a try. Let's see what happens. us. If he if if slimy guy is just gonna immediately grab us every time no matter what then we're fucked because we don't have the health neither of them has the health to survive that and I don't know where there's any herbs. We've already used up all of the herbs that have been given to us, and I don't know where there's any more herbs. Why is this game so horrible? Why does this game not want you to succeed? This is... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, wait. I 
I read ahead a little bit in the walkthrough and there is a room with red and green herbs and a can of first aid spray. Now that would be perfect. So the walkthrough is telling us to go in that room after after we do some stuff but I think that we need we just need to go right in there now obviously because we just don't have the health to be able to survive to do what the walkthrough wants us to do let me just wrap my head around where go through the northern door and then go but then that'll lead us into another hall, and then we're going into another door. Resident Evil. Let's just give it a shot. Also, I know that I know that um, I managed to make it past Slimy Guy once before, the last time uh, when I streamed on on Sunday. Yeah. But, um, and I made it, somehow I managed to get Billy past Slimy Guy on the way out and through the door. And then there were some zombies in the room that the walkthrough wants us to go in through. And, um, we got killed. I'm pretty sure that was when we got killed. And that was when I was like, okay, that's enough Resident Evil for tonight. Anyway, let's just let's just try to get into this room that has health items, because clearly that's just what we need. I'm gonna wait till this ad break is over <laughs> so that all the viewers can watch whatever's about to happen. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's see if we can do this. <sighs> Run in a straight line, please. Okay, Becky. Did Becky make it in? Or did Becky get snatched? Becky? <gasps> okay. We're both in here. Okay, I think we're gonna... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go... In this door. And there should be health items in here. Oh, 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 oh my god, y'all. Oh my god, health items. Yes, okay, so Billy's gonna have the first aid spray. Can you believe that the game. Oh my god. I can't tell you the last time that even one of them had full health. I can't- I don't remember. I don't remember when the last time was that they both had full health. Okay, there's ammo in here. That's great. Ah, there's an herb. Oh, we gotta make room though so she can mix them. Hold on. Okay, um... It's fucking bottles. Okay. 
Mm, Billy's gonna get this anyway. Mm. Okay, let me just... Ooh. I don't want to set it down right here where I can't see it. Let me go here. Okay, let me set this down just for a moment because we just need to have two slots open so that she can mix the herbs. But, oh my god, y'all. <laughs> you cannot express, cannot express the amount of relief because this means that we're gonna have a fighting chance because this means that okay that's great I'm not I don't want to I don't want to wonder about it I don't want to wonder about that yeah, yeah 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 I'm just trying to get the herbs the herbs can we focus on the thank you okay um yeah if they both have full health then that means that even if slimy guy grabs them once they can survive they could theoretically survive getting grabbed right as long as it's like only once right this is huge this is a win so if if i can just get them back to a save point now that they will both have full health then that will be incredible that will be amazing Oh, it's just it's such a beautiful sight. Both of them having full health. I just, I can't. I cannot, I cannot overstate how good this is. How good of a thing this is. What a relief it is. Um, how long it's been since both of them had decent health. I just, it cannot be overstated. Um... Neither of them has room for any extra ammo, actually, so... Do they? Not really, no. Well... No, because she's about to get the battery, so she won't have room. But now we know. We know where there is more ammo. What else is in here? Anything else interesting? Anything else remarkable? What's this? Assortment of laboratory equipment. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Okay. I believe you. Okay. Um, Alright, back out into this hallway, and then back out in the previous hallway, and then back into the piano room. <laughs> okay, but see, see, it's okay, because we could survive getting, we could survive just, you know, just one of those, you know, now that we have full health for them both again, like, we can, we can take that, you know? That's not gonna fully... See? Look, they're both fine still. This is amazing. This is wonderful. This is great. This is good. This is Gucci. Um, this is everything I could ever want. <laughs> Comparatively, right? Alright, Billy, you're up. There's like just such a delay uh, for for like the stream playback on the stream manager that like <laughs> I can uh, I can watch what just happened and be like oh yeah yeah that's funny okay now Becky in you go I'll go okay no 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 I'll go okay Billy. 
<laughs> Becky, oh my god, oh my god. Go back over there. Okay, Billy. Billy, you go back over there. You stay by your instrument, okay? Okay. Grab the battery. Mm hmm. Yes, please. Oh, God. it's just it's just such a beautiful sight. Looking at both of their health, and it says fine. Oh my God, it's just I can't get over what a beautiful sight that is. What a rare sight. How long it's been since I've seen that sight. I just I can't shut up about it. Okay. Let's free Becky. Alright, and then, alright, so now Billy. Billy's got the vice grip. Okay, so now we're gonna take Billy, actually. <coughs> first of all, let's equip him with a weapon that actually has ammo in it, yeah? Okay, so now, now that we know that we're not gonna die as soon as we get snatched by uh, the human devil snare. Okay, so he's gonna go back out in the hallway and then we're gonna go back in the hallway we were just in, but we're gonna go in the other, we're gonna go in the other room. Okay. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Okay. Why is he, why are we like sizzling? Is he like covered in acid or something? Gross. Okay, we know there's another one in here as well, so we just gotta make a run for it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, now there's zombies in here. And we, we only really have to worry about one of them. Ah! Get off, get off, get off. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Are you... kidding me? totally fine. It's fine because at least we know where we can get health and that's the most important thing. Focus. Focus. Okay, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it all over again. Everything's fine. <sighs> Where's that, um? Where's that meme that's like, this is fine, and everything's on fire? I'm sure someone has an emote of that, but I don't know who. I don't know if I've got one. Oh, well, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. That's by Elvira. 
Okay. I just did the thing I didn't mean to do. Fuck. Let's see if we can get past him. We're probably gonna die again, but oh well. Yeah. Well, nope, nope, nope. Resident Evil Zero. Okay. We're going to run straight, straight to the door at the back of the hall, right? Not to the side, into the, the room right there. No. No. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Oh, okay. It would be really nice if we could save. Um. I mean, we could. Once we get them back to full health, we could take them back through both of those hallways, back back down to the hall and save again. And then we could just come back and then go back into the piano room. But it would also be really nice if we could do the stuff we need to do without getting Billy killed and then just save once we've got all the stuff done. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's just take it one step at a time. Okay, so Billy's now fine. This is good. This is great. This is grand. Ooh, those little piano. That's very creepy. That's very effective. Okay, and then we're gonna 
set these down so we can make room for Becky to mix some herbs. No, I don't wonder. I, I'm not even going to think about it. Yes, we will take that. Okay, I know. Hello. Thank you. gorgeous sight okay excuse me Billy can I get the fuck out of the way okay now we pick up this tablet again yes okay okay now there's nothing else in here that we can use or that we really have room for. So let's rush past the slimy guys back into that other hallway. Where are we going? Go, 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 go. Okay. Good, good, good. No, 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 right there, right there, right there, okay. Okay. Oh my god, play the piano. Mm -hmm. I'll go. Yeah. No. I'll go. Well, isn't it lucky that he knows the exact right melody that has to be played to open that, uh, this hidden door? Isn't that lucky? <clears throat> okay. 
All right, now we're sending Billy back through the hallway, back past the slimy guys. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Get off. This way, this way, this way. Okay. And then I forgot to equip the pistol since we have no ammo for the grenade launcher. Okay, and we know. Okay, hold on. Okay, the walkthrough says only need to take down one of the zombies. And then this one is easiest. Would well, be really easy if I could see what I was shooting at. Okay, so now that that one's over there, now I'm gonna go over here. What am I. Uh, okay, I guess this is where I'm using this? Yes. Yes. Great. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yes. Oh my god, how are they both... Oh, how long? Okay, I don't care about that. I care about the shotgun ammo right here. Okay, whatever. Now we just have to get Becky. <clears throat> the walkthrough says to do this the other way around, but we're doing what we're doing. At least they both had to help the health to be able to survive that. Jesus effing Christ. <gasps> No, 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 wrong fucking way! Jesus, bitch, run! Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's good, that's great. It didn't even touch us, okay. This is great, this is great, this is... Come on! This is amazing. Okay. Now, we can go fucking save the game, and... Oh my god, look at that. Becky's fine, and Billy is alive, and 
at least he's not at dangerously low health anymore. This is amazing. This is great, y'all. This is so good. Okay. No one in here, right? Nothing is gonna hop out and try to kill us in here, right? Like, y'all. <laughs> It's really amazing. No, 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 where are we going? Get, get, there we go. Okay. Let's grab the anchor again. There we go. Oh my god, I cannot remember. <laughs> I literally can't remember the last time. Hello? Thank you. The last time that we saved and both of them had better than dangerously low health. Like, I literally can't remember the last time. This is incredible. Um, and I think that's going to be a good place to stop well mm, we can we can at least see what what are, what are we supposed to be doing next Okay, it wants us to go back into that room where we got the health stuff, but I would just be getting... I would just be getting, um, like the ammo that's in there, really. But I guess that would be worthwhile to get, yeah. Wish I could have gotten that shotgun ammo, you know. Okay, um... But either way, it was it was very good to uh, just to be able to save. Oh my God, fuck's sake! Okay, so now let's head back up into the. Let's just go back to right back to where we were. And um. In case anyone, anyone's wondering why I'm using a walkthrough, if you have not played this game yourself, um, it's because this game is nothing but suffering, and I'm about minimizing unnecessary suffering as much as possible. Focus, please. Hello, thank you. Okay, um, so yeah. So here is where it's telling us to pretty much drop all of Billy's gear. The only thing I'm not going to drop is the handgun. Because we can... We know we're going to pick up handgun ammo, and if we can just load it right into our gun, then it won't be taking up an extra inventory slot. And then we can also grab those magnum rounds. Let's split up. Roger. Let's split up. Roger. Alright, so Billy's going to go... I just thought about this. Does it have to be Billy? I don't see why. Because actually, Becky has the better health. And eh, we just saved. Let's see what happens. 
Because if we die, we just saved. So it'll be fine. Ah. Ah. Okay, nice. I love it when we can get past it untouched. That's all nice. No, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. That's fine. It's fine. Just keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. It's fine. <coughs> I'm kind of tempted to go back into the zombie room just to get uh, that shotgun ammo because the shotgun ammo would be very handy. Okay, that's great. Let's do it the hard way. Oh no, see, he's in danger again. You see how easy it is for them to lose their health? Okay, so if he dies, then we'll just send Becky in for this stuff. Okay. Um, wasn't there magnum ammo in here too? Or am I tripping? Plenty of empty bottles. I mean, it's kind of lame. Just bottles? Well, at least um, they'll only take up one inventory slot. Can you grab it? Get it? Do the... It's right there. Come on, it's right there. Just pick it up. Oh my god. Just get it. Thank you. Okay, and the good thing is, they only take up one inventory slot as well. Okay, great. Alright, so... Let me chance it. And if we can make it into that other room as well, then I'll grab the shotgun ammo too, if we can survive. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Nope. Uh, oh well. Glad we saved. Aren't you glad we saved? Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Zero. Okay, so it's gonna be Becky that we're gonna send in to do this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better? I need to watch Pocus Pocus. It's almost that time of year. It's almost the most wonderful time of the year. The high holy days. Okay. Okay, so now Becky's gonna drop all her stuff.
The bottles, the handgun ammo, and the shotgun ammo. Okay, so we'll just keep her weapons on her, because she should have enough room for... Yeah, those are the only things we're going to grab anyway, so it should be fine. You stay here. Yeah. Okay, um... You stay here. Yeah. Alright. And seeing as she has full health, we should be able to get her through this without her dying. And if we're really lucky, we can get her through this without her getting touched at all. Yes, nice, 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 nice. We love to see it. Go, 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 go. Oh, perfect. Flawless. We love it. Stunning. Okay. Yay! Other bottles. Nope. And if we want even more bottles, there's some in the piano room too. Um, one thing at a time. Okay, so now. Let's try to make it into the other room at the end of this hallway for the shotgun shells. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. So now we just have to avoid the zombies that are in here. Um, and the nice thing is it's a nice little ring around the rosy room, so we should be able to do that. Where are they though? Come to me so I can see where you are. Okay, there's one. And there's the other. Nice. Oh my god. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Just shotgun shells. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate when it does that. It's fine. Grab the bottles from in here. You can also take a little breather. <sighs> okay, and that's perfect. See, now she's in danger. Ugh. It's like we didn't even get any health. But at least this will be the last time we have to try to get past that thing. Oh, Magnum. Yeah, we already have six bottles, so let's grab these Magnum rounds. Not that we have a Magnum to use them on, but anyway. Uh, okay, moment of truth. Alright, we just gotta make it back through the blue door. Oh. 
No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I would have made it, but the fucking controls made as soon as the camera angle changed. One more try. I just have to hope I can get lucky and manage to go the direction that I'm trying to run in without the camera angle making me fucking do a 180 when I don't mean to. Nope. Can I get a few more frames, please, my lord? Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed for making it through untouched. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to split them up first. You stay here. Okay. go in here either. There's another one over in here. Ooh. She's already in caution. Oh my 
Would you pick it? Thank you. be trying to go one direction and then it'll be uh, it'll be having her run it into the fucking wall. Okay. She's in danger again. Fucking hell. Okay, well, let's just let's just hope we can get lucky. But bitch, where are you going? Oh my Oh my god, I fucking hate the fucking controls on this fucking game. Like what made you think I was trying to go in that direction? I had it. Well, um, that's enough Resident Evil. Let's finish out the stream with some cozy cat life. 